What's going on, y'all? Random Thoughts here. Um, today, we're actually going to review the University of Texas Cloud Computer Program, and this is their partner, uh, Great Learning, and this is a certificate as opposed to something like a degree. Um, I've seen a lot of ads for this, so I was actually just kind of curious to dive in and look at the costs uh, and see if they justify what you actually get out of the program. Um, so let's do it. Let's just dive right in. Okay, so we have the postgraduate program in cloud computing. Um, you'll find this page either if you click an ad, which I have received a ton of these ads, as I had mentioned, um, or if, just if you could do a Google search, like if you do like UT cloud computing or something like that. So yeah, just kind of scroll through this page, uh, download the brochure, and then fill out your information, uh, submit, and you will get an email, you'll receive an email. And that leads you to this, which is the you know the PDF, which contains the brochure. And really, my initial thoughts on this overall um, was just you know kind of scrolling through. It was a lot of thought was put into this. You know, this just wasn't something that was thrown together. You know, just to make a quick buck or something like that. Uh, a lot of thought was put into this program. Um, you know, there's the emphasis on hands-on labs is like is, is quite nice because you know that's really like as you you've, you've heard so many platforms say it's just how you learn this stuff uh, capstone project lecture notes etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and then i guess like the certificate is kind of a big deal here and i say that because it's it is from ut austin so you do have you know that prestige involved with this um, so there is ultimately like that you know nice certificate with the university of texas which is you know arguably a really good school uh yeah so there is that and then regardless of your thoughts on you know on if certificate is worth it or not. Um, the amount of time that it actually takes to complete this course is six months. Uh, and there's a lot of content. So, you know, it's not just about getting a certificate. You know, you should absolutely 100% learn this stuff because once you're on the job, like that's it, you know, the certificate's not gonna help you there. Um, but to speak on the cert aspect of things, you know, normally um, some people will say like, oh, cert is just a cert. Well, it's interesting because, you know, this course actually provides you um, with projects as well. So they, 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 I'm sure they thought about that too. So that's, that's pretty interesting to see. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically the program curriculum, you have a cloud primer, uh, I guess like basic Python for clouds. So you might learn Boto 3, basic Linux. So you get a bunch of stuff here. Scroll down. Of course they, they mentioned microservices, which is a positive, very, very big positive considering the way the industry has been, been moving over the past couple of years. Um, so AWS, of course, I mean, this is a specialization. Uh, most of the market is is uh, AWS, so it totally makes sense. And then Azure Essentials as well, so it's interesting to kind of take that multi-cloud approach. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you can learn a bunch of this type of terminology too. Um, if you haven't worked with public clouds before, uh, I mean, just a lot of the same concepts, most of the same concepts apply <laughs> between the clouds, um, you know, whether it's Google, Azure, AWS, whatever, Linode, whatever it might be. Uh, different terms, of course, you know, they use different uh, naming for for across all of them. Um, so that's, yeah, here's your hands-on projects here. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's a positive thing. Um, yeah, just, I mean, if you're interested in this, take a look through the brochure. Uh, so you just hear some, you know, of course, some students speak about it. Uh, uh, list of employers. Uh, and then the tuition. So. It's interesting because they do mention eligibility, but I'm sure like, you know, if someone, even someone doesn't have like a depth or an immense amount of technology experience, uh, I'm sure you can, you can probably talk uh, them into like, you know, enrolling you in this course. Like I, in the past, I, I didn't have an enormous effort, amount of effort needed for like a code bootcamp and I hadn't gotten a lot of experience, I should say. And like, it, it just talking with it, with them and showing that you want to do this, uh, you know, goes a long way, I feel. Um, but the tuition breakup, I'm not sure if this is like regional or if this is just like one, one straight up cost. But uh, if your employer can pay for this, great. If not, they do like, you know, the, the breakdown of fees and whatnot. Um, but getting to it, it is pricey. Like, I mean, 3,500 for, you know, six six months in a cert, ultimately you're, you are getting a cert, it is a bit pricey. Um, in comparison to, you know, and I do say in comparison to, because I mean, like coursework and obviously university and college is like obviously insanely 
insanely overpriced and just created a massive bubble, which is an entirely different topic. But, uh, you know, I would say in comparison to something like a Cloud Guru, um, and once again, I'm not sponsored by a Cloud Guru. I, I just use the platform uh, and also use the Linux Academy prior to a Cloud Guru. Um, and I'm a huge fan. Uh, so cost-wise, uh, you know, in comparison to this, you get six months, you do get a lot of content, you get direct, I'm assuming you get direct access to some resource so you can ask uh, questions and, and, you know, work with uh, some instructor of some sort. Uh, so that's something like Cloud Guru is definitely more um, like on your own, I would say, arguably, I mean, you do have like forums and stuff like that that you can post to. but realistically like you know if you're paying for this through ut slash great learning uh, an instructor will and should i would hope uh, i don't you know i can't speak to it too much but they should you know get back to you um but getting back to it like a year of a cloud guru and you you can basically i, I think they actually go like cloud guru has all of the same coursework at least like you know all the same public clouds available um to to go through and to learn so you get 348 a year, so that's something to keep in mind. It, it really depends, like how much time you want to put into, put into this stuff. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. In my opinion, uh, you know, I like this route because it's a lot cheaper, and then you can go on to actually taking the actual course from AWS. Uh, so, for example, like you know, the Amazon Solutions Architect, um, you know, one of the professional certificates. Uh, after you do a course. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Do you want to do six months, uh, work with an instructor or your classmates, whatever it might be, pay 3500 or do you want to use a service like Cloud Guru, Udemy, um, multiple other services out there, Pluralsight, which actually acquired Cloud Guru, uh, but there's there's a ton out there for obviously a lot less. And then of course there's free resources. The, the downside, I mean, there's structure to a Cloud Guru, I'd say. And then, of course, there's like extreme structure to this uh, because that's quite that's quite literally what they did. They just, you know, that's the whole point. If you like school, you can just go to structured education and, you know, go through it as you need to. Um, but, you know, you can go through the path here as well. But the issue, I think one of the main issues I've seen with Cloud Guru is like a lot of people who are new to public clouds or like, you know, infrastructure or something like that, they don't necessarily know where to begin. And I know Cloud Guru has made effort into uh alleviating that issue um so that's that's something as well and, and i do say that like in comparison to like free resources because the downside to free resources is you have to kind of and I've, I've used massive amount of re, re, uh, free resources in my career the issue the biggest issue that i've had personally is that you have to google all over the place you have to ask people if you don't know any in the industry you just have to like ask on on stack overflow you get downvoted <laughs> you have to ask on random slack forums and you know you really have to kind of like put the pieces of the puzzle together to try and figure this stuff out uh you know and where to go um like just from in terms of like you know where what to learn you know where to learn why you know all of these questions you know and then you might not even go down the like necessarily the right route right so that's that's an issue in itself like you could learn something that's like totally not around anymore or something like that so it happens um, so that's that's kind of my thoughts on just like the structure thing. I think that's a big plus with this, but um, that's my initial thoughts on this program. And like I said, I, this was I'm just only kind of talking about this because I've seen a ton of ads, uh, and I was honestly just kind of curious about you know what they have to offer and you know the depth of their course. And I mean overall, like just my high level review of it is just like they put an enormous amount of thought into all of this. You know, like I said, this just isn't this isn't something that they just threw together and like they wanted to make some money off of people. There, a lot of thought went into this program, um, and it all depends on what you want to do, what you want to pay for, what you can pay for. Um, you know, and then just the amount of time you have to put into things as well, um, because you can get a, like all of the same out of, out of this. And honestly, you can get a lot of all of the same information out of something like Cloud Guru, out of something like YouTube. It just depends on like, you know, as I mentioned, how you put those pieces together um, versus like some some like extreme structure. Um, but that's it, that's my thoughts on it. Um, hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And then of course, if you have any questions for uh, these services, uh, reach out to them. You know, if you put your number in, they'll, they'll, they'll call you <laughs> and talk to them about it in depth because these are just my thoughts. All right, everyone, take care.